Hi guys, it's Friday morning. Got the day off. It's uh, Labor Day weekend in the United States. Taking Tuesday off too, so I got a five day weekend. Get some good riding in. I'm on my monster today. I'm gonna go for a nice long ride. So I'm here at the same spot that you saw me on my last uh, ride video where I was going down to uh, the Queen Mary. But uh, today I'm going north. And actually I just took the wrong, uh, the wrong path here. <laughs> uh, this is to go south. I gotta go uh, to the other side. I'm gonna be going north and uh, up to the mountains that you see. It's been a nice long ride. Unfortunately, I didn't check my battery. I thought I had it fully charged. Looks like it's, uh, it's about 85% um, when I turn it on. I hate that. Gotta check your batteries if, you, if you're planning for a long ride. Especially, I guess, if you have uh, a lot of wheels like I do. I kind of lose track of them sometimes. <laughs> so, um, probably won't go quite as far as I was hoping to go. But we'll see. Maybe I'll slow down just a little bit so I can get the range. More of the same. This is a real Hondo River again. And I'll be mostly on uh, river trails this whole uh, this whole day, which would be 60 miles, something like that, probably. I gotta tell you, the monster is a, it's a, it's an amazing wheel. I don't ride it as much as I really should. And sometimes I think, uh, something happened to the monster, I don't think I'd get another one. But then when I ride it, I think, ah, oh, this is a great wheel and uh, I'd get another one if something happened to this in a heartbeat. It's so smooth. It takes anything you throw at it really fun wheel to ride and uh, and so fast I mean I really just I'm going it's hard not to go above slower than it's hard uh, yeah hard not to go above uh, 20 miles an hour you know whenever I look at my watch I'm going seems like I'm going 21 or more <laughs> uh, it's just just uh, just an amazing wheel and then uh, no other wheel can do what I'm going to do today, particularly if I had a full charge. Of course, uh, you know, like my M Super ACM 1600 watt hour wheels, they may, might be able to do it, but I'd have to, um, I'd have to really ride slow to conserve power to do it. The, today I'm just going to cruise. You see all this muck down in uh, the river? 
sometimes I ride down there. Depends on the wheel I have. I've done it in the Monster too, but uh, I, I went up, end up with a totally wet back. <laughs> I have an order in at uh, Matthias for uh, some new uh, side pads for my M Super X and uh, a mud guard for one of my M Supers and a mud guard for the Monster. So I'll be able to uh, ride anywhere now without worrying about getting my clothes messed up. This is a little section I always like to do. I cross the river here. I never ride these rivers, just stick on the path all the time. I find all the little parks and all the side paths you can go off on and have a little fun. During the rainy season, when, you know, when we have a lot of rain, these are uh, overflow basins. So I'm, I'm sure there's a technical name for them, but they're just filled, with, they become lakes. See, I'm cruising 20 miles an hour right now. I can't go slower on the Monster. <laughs> This is a pleasant little path. It's just a walk, walking path. Usually you have to kind of watch out for rabbits who dart across the path here. I've yet to hit any animal. Well, it feels like I've had close calls. I'm not sure what would happen. <laughs> like if I hit a rabbit. I know, of course, if I hit a bigger animal, uh, it wouldn't be good, but um, a rabbit, I would probably survive. <laughs> Particularly if I'm on the monster. My Monster is the oldest original wheel that I have. Bought it from Speedy Feet. 
in uh, very early 2017, I think January time frame. So when he was only a dealer carrying some of the Gotway wheels uh, that you could buy in America. And exchange rate was fantastic, so uh, I was the only one. Picked up Monster, I got an M Super, I got an ACM from him. So uh, yeah, this Monster has been great. Holding up fine, of course, maybe some of you might have seen my videos on uh, tightening the, the nuts, axle nuts, and I definitely have some, it's not the tightest of wheels, it's got some play in the axle. But uh, it still works pretty good. When I tried a 100 volt monster a while back, it was really tight, really just like a brand new wheel, which it was. And uh, I thought, ah, it'd be nice to have this wheel. It's all relative. All right, let's head back to the river trail. Okay, back in the trip, back in the trail north to the mountains. This path doesn't go anywhere, <laughs> but it's, this is a fun little. Uh, path to take. It's a walkway from the neighborhood down to the river. Again, what do we have these wheels for but to explore, right? And that's it. So let's head back. Love the monster tire, it just takes everything. So here's another uh, park I like to do a loop around. It's fun.
There's a little fun little suction with against little obstacles and little hill here. Yep. All right, that's my loop back to the river. So I'm coming up to the end of the cement part of this river for a while. We'll be joining up with another river in a little bit. This is again some kind of a dam area that they can close off. We'll go up to the top of it now. It's a nice view from up here. Not very high, just a couple hundred feet, I guess. I always have this closed off. You might be able to see it goes all the way across here and, and you can join up with another uh, river that way. Everything's interconnected in uh, Southern California. Again, you can just, if I had a wheel that had a couple hundred mile range, I think I could, I could uh, have no problem making that ride. I'm not sure about my feet though. Okay, so now I'm coming up to with a really fun section of trail. Like I like to ride really fast on a lot of my wheels. It's pretty fun. I've shot a lot of videos here. Okay, here we go, some speed. Twenty four, twenty five. Which just doesn't seem that fast on a monster, but it's fun.
And that concludes speed run number one. <laughs> okay, I just have to hop on this bike lane for an uh, eighth of a mile. Then I can cross over and uh, continue on the bike path. For probably another 10 miles or so. I don't know. I haven't looked at my uh, range yet. I finally figured out uh, why this section of path is covered, which some of you guys might have seen in some earlier videos. It's because this is a, it's an RC park. You guys probably can't see the planes, might be able to hear them, but uh, I guess this is to protect uh, Bicyclists, if these guys fall out of the sky. Yeah, I'm entering the Rio Hondo River again. Back to cement, cemented river. Let's see, let me move the camera. Uh, so you can probably see the mountains getting closer. I've ridden about uh, 16 miles so far. I'm at 60% battery. And my feet are just warming up.
are some guys having fun. Actually, I think those might have been workers of some sort. They look like they had uniforms on. Here's uh, the El Monte Airport. Small, lots of small airports like this sprinkled, sprinkled throughout uh, Southern California. I don't see anyone coming in for a landing. So coming up on the end of uh, the, the cemented part of the Rio Hondo River. Uh, huge area down here. I've gone down there and ridden. Talk about a perfect place to uh, practice wheeling or anything else down there. It's, it's, uh, it's great. Just huge suction of cement. So I'm going to be uh, crossing over here now. Decided to take a load of dirt.
Ah, that was fun. This is uh, one of probably hundreds of canals spread throughout Southern California. These would be like creeks back east, except of course they're cemented over. Not much, no much, not much of uh, natural creeks and rivers in Southern California. And I'm going to be leaving the riverbeds for a while to uh, do some side street riding. So this is pleasant riding. Not much traffic to worry about. I really try and avoid any roads where I have to ride close to cars or I don't have a wide berth on the side, either a dedicated bike lane or just a really wide road. Like this one. This is a two lane road, but I got huge shoulders. This is a busier road, but there's a dedicated, like, it's kind of a two lane, uh, two lanes on each side, but one lane has a, a bike symbol down it, so you can pretty much take over the, the one lane and, and not feel guilty about it. I hate this, this happens every once in a while. Commuter train comes through.
Well, hopefully you can see how much closer I am to the mountains now. I've been riding for about 27 miles. And uh, I'm not sure how long. Maybe a couple hours. I'm about to cross over to another bike path and continue up into the mountains. And this is basically pretty close to the beginning of the San Gabriel River, though it realistically starts up in the mountains. It's pretty wild up here though. And this bike path I'm on now that I'm gonna go up till it stops, I can take this all the way down to the Queen Mary. No stops nothing on the, no getting on any roads or, an, or anything. Like a 30 mile ride, something like that. Well, I'm approaching the entrance to a park. Kind of a hiking area. It's a uh, it's nice, nice little ride. I've taken a few times. I think I've shot some videos there before. And one section here I need to ride on the highway. Fortunately, there's not a lot of traffic. But there is some. I only have to ride on this for uh, probably an eighth of a mile, so not too risky. And here we are. River Wilderness Park. The base of the San Gabriel Mountains. It's real quiet here. I feel like I have the whole place to myself. Of course, it's a it's a Friday, norm, still a normal work day. I'm sure that helps.
This is the perfect kind of a trail for the monster. Here we are, end of the trail. Uh, wow, I've never seen it like this before. Usually where I'm standing is water, running water. And that's, that's just a flowing river. Totally dry. It's been our hot, very hot summer, dry summer. Oh well. Thought it would be a little more picturesque today. So, how far have I ridden? Thirty, almost thirty-two miles, and I'm at forty-five percent battery. So I think I'll bank it back. Might have to slow down a little bit, but. Um, and I've been riding for uh, two hours, 10 minutes, thereabouts. Okay, I'm heading back. And uh, of course, this rod, whole rod I'm taking, it, it's like a giant loop. So I'm gonna be riding you know, 60 miles, probably thereabouts today. And uh, basically none of it's, uh, none of it's re a repeat, it's off. Saw a fresh trail, new trail. It's no fun. It's no fun going out and back on, a, on the same route. Always, I always try and find loops. Ah. <laughs> Didn't navigate that successfully. I shouldn't be recording when I do this. I'm going uphill. That's pretty gravelly. Okay. Coming up to a gate. Let's see if I can navigate this without getting off the wheel. Ah. 
Made it. Okay, back on the primary bike path. I just saw mile, they have mile markers on bike paths here. And um, mile marker 37. So 37 miles from here to the ocean. One, one run. It's pretty cool. Oh, here I am. I'm kind of riding slow. <laughs> What's funny is on the Monster, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm riding slow, but I'm um, uh, about 19 miles an hour. <laughs> that's, that's kind of uh, taking it easy on the Monster. I think that's so funny. I thought I'd also comment a little bit about foot pain. So I've been riding for about 35 miles so far. And I'm doing great. Part of it might be genetics. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I have tough feet. But I, it occurred to me, uh, particularly you guys who are you know, newer and it hurts your feet, I think maybe as time goes on, you get, you get much more relaxed in your riding style. Like right now, I'm totally relaxed my feet. I'm shifting my feet. I'm, I'm, uh, my feet are on, on my edge, on edges, uh, up and down, and I'm moving them around, and I'm comfortable, not thinking about it, and that takes a lot of stress away, from, out of, you know, away from your feet. But I think that just comes with time. When you, when you're in the learning phase, you you tend to be a bit more stressed and a bit more tight, gripping the pedals and. Uh, and it's pretty hard to think about shifting your feet, riding one-footed, stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. It'll probably get better over time. So I'm approaching the Santa Fe Dam and uh, I'll be riding this long slope basically along the top, top of the whole dam. There's no water behind the dam. I think it's an emergency dam. So if we were to have some 100 year flood, it, it wouldn't uh, wash out homes downrange. <laughs> but it's a fun place to ride. Beautiful, beautiful bike path. Lots of people ride bikes, lots of people walk on it. Here I am. Nice, nice gentle slope. Starting to look like a dam now.
Okay, we're just about at the peak of the dam here. Again, this dam's pretty cool. I think it's might be, uh, I don't know, two to three miles long, the, the bike path up here. It's, it's pretty nice. Take a little break, stretch my feet a little bit. So you probably can't can't see this, but um, tomorrow I'm gonna to be riding with you guys up to the peak, that's Mount Wilson. A little, couple of dots up at the top of the observatories. So that's gonna be a fun ride, taking my uh, Z10. See how it handles it and uh, hopefully you can make it to the top. So I'm getting a lot of riding done this weekend. And uh, that's where I'm heading. This will take me all the way home. Dry River. Okay, time to leave the dam. All right, from here, it's just a pretty straight path. I'm not gonna take any um, side paths just because I'm, uh, I'm at 35% battery. I think I can make it still, which is impressive. I've been riding for 42 miles. And I started with 85% uh, battery. Monster is a... Uh, Awesome wheel, especially for you guys who like uh, distance riding. Oh, I'm on the home stretch. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> uh, fighting a strong headwind from the ocean. It's particularly strong considering it's uh, a little after 11, usually the strong headwinds come in the, in the afternoon. I'm down to uh, low 20s battery. I've ridden about 50 miles. I think I have maybe 10 miles more to go in that ballpark. Hoping I, I can still make it. I sure wish I had uh, <laughs> started with a fully charged battery today. So I'm, right now I'm limiting myself to about 17 to 18 miles an hour. <laughs> Which is still decent. Alright, well, see you again in a little bit.
Well, I'm down to uh, about 15% battery. I'm cruising 16, 17 miles an hour, and I've, uh, I'm at 56 miles. I've ridden the Monster at, at a faster clip about 65 miles once, but of course I had a full charge. Well, I made it home. You see, I have more, well, I'm not driving as quite as hard, but still a little above 15% battery. The size of the Monster battery, you can be at 15% for quite a while. And um, my total mileage is 57 and a half miles. I've been riding for uh, three hours and about three hours 55 minutes pretty good considering I started at 85% uh, battery level <laughs> uh, it'll be it'll be nice to get off the wheel for a little while though but my feet are I mean I could probably ride another 20 miles without getting too bad Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I just want to mention uh, so today's uh, August 31st Just want to remind you guys that every other week Duff and I do the the live stream Slash podcast talk all things EUC for an hour to two hours At 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time 8 o'clock Eastern time in the United States and uh, this Sunday Which I think is September 2nd We'll be doing doing another talk. So uh, if you got nothing going on, come on, stop by. If you can't watch it live, uh, you can watch it after the fact, or you can uh, download the podcast, which is pretty listenable. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this ride, and uh, see you later.